everybody, welcome to the, another episode of the Art of Comics. I'm doing this little um, video series of automatic drawings and sketches and things like that. And I've I kind of actually been starting to move into watercolors and kind of do it with that. So today I'm going to use some more of the Dr. P.H. Martin Hydras Fine Art Watercolors. I'm going to use Cobalt Blue. I'm going to use the complementary color, which is Chromium Yellow. Kind of an orange, really. Some black and white. But I'm going to try to just use blue and orange. And the idea is just to draw, let something kind of come out of out of this. I'm not, I'm just using my inkers. I do have a brush. I might use some of that. I'm not going to have anything planned. I'm just going to kind of draw. And the idea is to record it and see what happens, right? And then you can follow along and do this yourself. Whoa. I didn't really want that to be so dark. I don't know what I'm doing, but now I'm starting to see something. And really, I want to use, now I do want to use a little bit of watercolor, some paint, some brushes. Some this really is experiment. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Uh, I don't really know. I do kind of like the way these these little droppers, the lines they do. I kind of like that. It's kind of a fun. Almost reminds me of like you know doing working on with sticks or any kind of thing that's not a brush, just to kind of get other things. Now now we're gonna play with what happens when I mix these. It's gonna probably turn into a mud. That's usually what happens. Oh, I'm gonna put just a drop, a couple of these in here. Just wanna see what happens. I might mess it up though. Maybe I should wait till it dries and then when it dries, I'll maybe put something in there. Yeah. Whenever you mix complementary colors, you usually be, get like a gray, grayish mud stuff. Which, if you want a good neutral gray, it's a great way to do it. But if you want a vibrant color, maybe not. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I'll do the same thing. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of some color. Let me add a little bit of this here to it.
This is something you can do with your kids too. Just get some cheap watercolors and some paper and just have them kind of play with complementary colors and, and kind of like just do some abstract kind of work, you know, have them use just these basic shapes and lines and things like that. It's kind of a fun way to pass the time while some of us are kind of stuck in our homes and not able to go out to the park and play and things like that. So actually, I kind of like that. The also trick is not to overwork it. Last one I did, I felt like I kind of overworked it and then I had to go in and, and kind of repair it. And I'd like to avoid that if possible this time. So I think I'm gonna go simpler than, than last time. I also put myself a time limit. So I don't wanna do this all night, you know, if, I'm, if I've got real work to do. This is just kind of a exercise and and kind of a, a fun thing to do. So I, I like to put myself a time limit of around 20 minutes. So I'm gonna stop at 20 minutes no matter what. Um, but I kind of like that. Put one more. Might put a couple actually when I think about it. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go back in here and do some, some, mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to go back in here and do some blues for sure. I might have to let some of this dry. I'm tempted to put some orange here, but I don't think I will. I am gonna put blues in here though. That's gonna look like this right now. Trying to look to see what's dry and what's not dry. Because that's going to help me know what to mess with and what not to mess with. So a great artist that did a lot of Disneyland Imagineering stuff. His name was Herbert Raymond, I think. Raman Raymond, something like that. Um, I have one of his books, and we'll, maybe we'll break it out for the channel. There it is. Herbert, Herbert uh, Raymond, yeah. A Brush with Disney, and he did some amazing work. We're, we're definitely going to have to talk about it. Uh, and he did, like, all these pre-production sketches of, you know, of, um, you know, Tomorrowland and the castle and all that kind of stuff and just really cool stuff. And I love the way he draws and paints. I think about that a lot. Okay, I wonder if I did that. Yeah, it's a little wet still. I'm actually going to pull out another brush. Just because I want this to be a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Okay. Okay, that's kind of neat. Maybe I'll do some more of this. I wasn't really intending to do this, but now that I'm doing it, I kind of like it. So we're going to keep on with it for just a little bit here. Maybe I 
I'll just, see if I can move this color just a little bit more down here a little bit. And a lot of this is just intuitive. I'm just kind of like doing this on gut, you know? I think I screwed that up. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, I've got to fix it. I'll have to find a way to fix it. It's all about mistakes, fixing mistakes, coming up with solutions to problems, stuff like that. So one solution to this might just be I just have to make this kind of a cloud-like thing. here and just kind of dilute it out a little bit more. I really didn't want that to happen, but it's okay. Happy little trees. <laughs> Happy little trees. Yeah, I'm just going to like that. And actually, that, actually, that doesn't look too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, this is pretty dry, so maybe we'll put a little bit more yellows. Ooh, a little stronger than I wanted. I've never really done this. I'm kind of like trying to figure out how to use these droppers as brushes. And you got to really get it on the edge or else you're going to get some crazy thicknesses there. Now I got to like figure out how to fix that. Hmm. I feel like the values are all too similar. Um, so we need to change a few things. I only have six minutes because we said this would be 20 minutes long. So with that said, I'm gonna just darken up some things here because I feel like it's a little too white. So we're gonna have to darken some things up here. 
as you can tell, I'm just using my big old finger. Just using my finger. Oh, snap. I did, know, did not know I was going to get that on there. That's the problem with using your finger. But I think that's okay. I think we'll have to just figure out a way to make that work. And that's probably going to be meaning to put some blue in there. I want to balance all this blue here. So I want to put some, I want to have more blue here because I feel like this is, I just want to balance it out a little bit more. Um, and you don't have to, but just my brain was telling me like, you know what? Just a little bit more blue over here, brother. blue on this but it's still wet so I'm gonna wait I'm gonna fight the temptation but I'm gonna put some more here Darn it, I don't know if I'm going to mess this up, but I want to do it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to mess it up, but I feel like I just need to put, I want to put, like, almost like a shadow on some of these things here. time. Dang it. It's 20 minutes. I gotta end this sucker. Okay.
Okay, that's it. We gotta end it, we're out of time. So there you go, quick little sketch. It's uh, just kind of a fun little thing to do here. Um, not one of my favorites, but it's kind of fun. What does my friend Tony say? You gotta put a little bit of splatter for it to be considered art. drop or two. Give me a second. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Uh, please feel to subscribe, link, comment, all that stuff. Thank you all for very much watching. More comic videos coming up soon. Bye. Hey everybody, doing a quick amendment to my video. <laughs> I had to change it. I had to add up a little bit. Still not super happy with it, but I added basically, I used some gel pens and some microns and just added a little bit more stuff in here. It's still a little bit too busy. Um, but I do like it a little bit better now, a little bit better now. And so there you go. That's the final one. And I will I will prove it by signing it. Done. Okay, there you go. Have a good one, guys. Bye.